amazing and I have also been to his work studio and it is just incredible and you will see some pictures of that in here as well so um I, I never knew we even had this book but he uh did I think he is still now a uh, either a professor or like a visiting professor at Stanford um he does mainly oil painting on canvas and he does a lot of So I'll 
象征意义的地方。So I'm gonna go ahead and read the kind of English version of that because it's really interesting and it kind of sets up、um, the theme for this book. Whenever I meet Xie Xiaozi, we always talk in depth about his next exhibition. This is not necessarily about how it is going to differ from previous exhibitions. But rather, how it will build on his accomplishments of the past twenty years. Last year, we met twice: once on Mount Desert Island in Maine, where he had been invited to attend a gathering of artists at the same time as I was, and once in Beijing. He was living in Beijing at the time as a faculty in residence in the Stanford Bing, in the Stanford Bing Overseas Studies program. This is based on the campus of Peking University, a symbolically resonant location for an artist such as Xiaozi, who, in spite of having been primarily resident in the USA since the early 1990s, is still deeply involved with the history of China and the ways in which events that have shaped its history have been memorialized by painters and photographers until the present day. So. Uh, this is written by Christoph Mao.、Um, in Chinese, his name is Mao Weiqing. So that is the forward. And there's some other stuff. Let's see.、Uh, okay, and then I will just go into each page and show you guys. Personally, really enjoy photography. 
name is Lei Feng, and he's a very, uh, he's like a very famous Chinese person. He did exist, um, and propaganda has kind of raised him to this almost, I don't want to say god-like figure, but almost saint-like figure, um, and it's a very common practice to tell your kids to xue lei feng, which means learn from lei feng, and um, just have his values and stuff, and like, 
memory is fading away while oil paint finds its way onto the cold metallic surface, trying to leave permanent marks. So I actually really like that paragraph. Honestly, I think it's a great piece of little writing and it really does sum up what he's trying to do in this album or in this book. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this little video. I absolutely love his paintings. So if you're interested, you can purchase this book. Maybe I'll try to find it and link it down below. But um, yeah, he's a great artist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little page turning video. Let me know if you want more and hopefully I will be able to do um, a better point of view one once I have my tripod back in New York. Whereas this one, I'm trying to like hold it up and I'm struggling.